Greetings YouTubers. Hopefully everybody's doing pretty good out there. I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, today we are going to be taking off this fender on this 2003 Ford Explorer. I know from 2003 and 2005 they're pretty much the same. Some of the other, other model years you may have to go in and do a little research. There's probably going to be some hidden bolts and some screws here and there. But uh, long story short, um, I want to take the fender off because I have a small dent right here. So we'll try to straighten out because my body's in really good shape. And I'm going to try to get back to factory as best I can. And yesterday when I went to take this uh, molding strip off, which I really hate, uh, they hide the rust and all the issues that you can't see. Uh, to take this fender off, well, I noticed right here that it's pretty bad. I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, maybe fix that and everything. And there is the molding strip that I took off yesterday. Uh, if you want to know how to take this molding strip off, I'll put a link at the, at the end of this video for this to show you how to do that. A lot of guys get themselves in trouble. They just uh, start taking screws out and they try to yank on it and they end up breaking the clips and all that. But you can watch me in my other video and I'll show you how to take it off. Now, if you're going to do this, wear some gloves because when you pull this strip off, you do not know what's behind here. If there's any rust, uh, sharp objects or anything sticking out that may cut your finger like I did yesterday. Uh, you want to protect yourself from that. And also, one other thing, I took my tire off because someone stuck a gigantic wheel on there. That is not the size it's supposed to be on there. This tire is a 265 70 17, and it pretty much tugged up the entire wheel well. So I wasn't able to get in here and take out any of these screws for this inner fender that we have to take out. And that's what we're going to uh, start on first. We're going to take that inner fender out and we're going to go ahead and start taking this uh, fender off and hopefully this will help you out i looked online and i couldn't find any videos on how to do this i saw some write-ups but you know what i just figured a video would be the best next thing right all right so let's go ahead and get to it all right now like i said you don't have to take your wheel off but if you can get in here with your hands and get these little screws out along the edge and these some of these clips and get this um inner piece of plastic out over top of the wheel hey go for it but you know from my experience it's just as easy to just take the wheel off and get your jack and get your jack stand stick under there and you should be okay now the tools we'll need right here i have some sockets set up we'll need a 10 millimeter maybe a little extension straight screwdriver a phillips screwdriver and i am using a pair of clippers just to kind of pull these uh little tabs off here you see and a little can of oil maybe to uh, grease up some of the bolts to help you out. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do, we've got to get in here and start taking out some screws and clips. And uh, we'll go ahead and take my screwdriver. Now, to make the video a little faster, I've gone ahead and loosened up some of these because they can be a kind of a pain in the butt to get out. And sometimes you just got to take a hammer and hit them and kind of break them loose a little bit. Like that. And once you get them broke loose... They usually come off pretty easy. Take that one off. And here's the one on this piece of trim right there. This trim will not come off until we actually unbolt the top of this fender. There's a couple hidden screws behind here that we have to get in here and take out before this piece of trim will come off. So we're not even going to attempt to uh, even mess with that. So there is that, that one. And on the top here, I've got one in here, but it's rusted off. I'm not going to worry about. Fender's pretty rusted there. There's nothing there. And we got one down here. Take this one off. Now, like I said, a lot of times these don't come off that easy. You have to tap them, get the dust and rust out of them before they break loose. So we got all those loose. And now what we got to do, we got to go in here and there's going to be a tab right here. Now this one fell out. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's one right up here. So this one basically just came out. So there's that one. We got one back here. Take these clippers. I'm going to grab this one because I know this is going to be hard to get out. All right, there's that. Stick it down in here. And I do believe that is all that is holding that inner fender in there. Now, if you have a different model, make sure that's it before you start yanking on it. Some of these models actually have one down here, but this one doesn't. So I'm going to pull this out of here. I hope I can do this with one hand and the camera in the other. Maybe not. We'll see here. There we go. And out comes this. All right. And there it is. And like I said, this gives you a lot more room. Now, if you're down here doing this, if you have any rust up here, make sure you don't hit your head on this because this will cut you. 
and uh, you end up having a uh, little bit of a band-aid problem. All right, so we're in here, and uh, let's get this piece out of the way, this splash thing, guard, whatever. We got a couple of screws we got to take out. There's one right here, easy to get to, one up on the top, and there's two on the bottom down there we have to take off. But the ones that get everybody in trouble are right here. They are holding this bottom plastic piece right here, this front piece on the bottom of the uh, bumper, this bumper cover. It's bolted to this top fender right here. We have to get in here and take this out. Once you get these out of here, then that is the hard part. Now what I do, I usually stick some grease up there, let it soak a while on the top of these bolts, and they usually break free pretty easily. And once we break them free, we can go ahead and take them out. So let me see if I can go ahead and get these out with my ratchet real quick. I've got them started. I'm hoping I don't end up breaking them because if you break them, this piece here on the front of the bumper cover will never sit flush there. So I'll have to set the camera down. Let me see if I can get these out okay. Okay, good news. Uh, I got them out. No problem. I uh, greased them up. I just worked them back and forth. And there they are, and you can see they're uh, pretty rusted. And this little bit of grease here really helps out. Let's give you one more look in here. And now you can see this is loose. And like I said, this here gets a lot of people in trouble. They don't know about these bolts. And they're yanking and pulling, and they end up busting this. And this front cover, which actually houses your uh, fog lights if you have them, will never set securely. Now, we got that out of there. Well, we've got one, one more thing to do. We've got to pop this headlight out. It's pretty easy to do. We've got it started here. We've got these little brackets, clips. We're going to pull it up one like that. There's one. There's one right here. We've got to slide this headlight out. Now, we don't have to unhook it, but you can if you want. I'm just going to push it off the side. Now, we've got to take this parking light out. There is a couple little hidden screws in there we have to take out. So let's get this screw out of there. I'm getting to be a master of working with one hand and holding the camera in the other. This is on my little Samsung Galaxy S5 Active. My house computer is getting way too slow. I'm going to have to upgrade. And this is why I shoot on my uh, cell phone now. Let me set the camera down and take that out of there. All right, there is the screw. I think you can see that it's out. And now we'll pull this parking light straight out. And well, you can let it hang or you can just kind of push it off the side like that. Here are the other two screws right here. One right there and one right there. We got to take those out. And I do believe, just to save you a little time, I don't think they're a 10. I believe they're going to be like an 8 millimeter. Let me get my 8 millimeter socket. And here comes the second one. And these are 8 millimeter little sockets I'm using. And there it is. So we got both of those out. And our fender is really loose on the front. Now, what we got to do, we got to go ahead and take one, two, three. We got four. Here we have to take out real quick on the top. Easy to get to. So let's take those out. All right, now I got all the 8 millimeter bolts out on the top. And there's one back here in the back, right near that hinge. And I'm using a swivel to get in there to kind of get that out of there. And this is an 8 millimeter. Pull this out. And we got all of our top bolts off on the top of this fender. And now you can see the fender is really, really loose. Now what we got to do, almost finished here. We got to take these two out here. We got one here. We got one right there. And we got the two on the very bottom that we got to take off. So let's go ahead and get those out. All right, we got this one out. So those two are out. So now we'll go on the inside. The fender. You see this is really loose. And now we'll take those two guys there out. Okay, we just about got the last bolt out, which is right there. I think that should do it. Hopefully I can get it with my fingers. Probably not. Unfortunately, you'll have to watch me take this out. All right, there it is. It's out. And now we're bolt free, and you can see the entire fender now. 
is loose. And now we got to come up here and on the front, right here, there is a guide pin. Pull this fender back a little bit out of that guide pin right there. See it right there? So you don't get hung up. And now we come up on top and we just simply pull up on the fender, grab it, pull it out. And voila, our fender is out. Let's set it up here better for you guys. And there it is. That, my friend, is how you take off a fender off of a Ford Explorer, 2002 through 2005. Hmm. Okay, now just remember, you don't have to take the wheel off, but it does make it easier to get in here and work around. And the second thing is, make sure you get these bolts out right here on the bottom that hold this plastic cover in, and the two back here behind the hidden parking light, turn signal light. Trust me. It will make your life a lot easier. If you like any of my videos, please subscribe, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Until my next project, thanks for watching, folks, and sticking with me through the end of the video, and I will see you later.